Welcome back to Angling Buzz Ice. I'm your host, Jake Wallace, and this week was rough on our ice conditions here in the Brainerd Lakes area. You know, a lot of rain mixed with warm temps is not a good combo, and a lot of our lakes are starting to pull away from the shoreline, and the ice is just flat out sketchy. Now there are some lakes in northern Minnesota that are still good, but if you're gonna head out, you have to have to use extreme caution. Now in this video, Mike Hayner and I head to central Minnesota and target nice northern pike with tip-ups. Now we shot a ton of great underwater footage on our Aquaview underwater cameras and what we use to power those cameras is the Dakota Lithium Powerbox 10. Now it has multiple power source options from 12 volt to USB and alligator clips. It has built-in lights and it's just a super handy portable power box. Now in this video, we use live minnows to catch all our fish. And what we use to keep our minnows alive and healthy is the R12 Lithium Aerator from Rapala. Now, this aerator is awesome. It takes a two amp hour battery. And in the R12 series, there's also a light and a fillet knife. Now they can all be charged on the same charger, right? The batteries are interchangeable, like I said, and they're just gonna give each tool a ton of juice and a ton of life. Now, let's head out onto the ice. All right, it's mid-winter. It's an actual beautiful day out. We got a bright blue sky, sun that's supposed to get pushing 40. And I'm out on a central Minnesota lake with my buddy Jake Wallace, and we're targeting Northern Pike. Flag, Jake! Flag! Northern Pike are really plentiful up here, and they're an aggressive fish, and they're really fun to catch. Is that your first one on a tip up? Yes. We're gonna do some jigging with one rod and put out tip ups with live bait on the other. So hopefully we're gonna get a few pike, maybe a couple nice ones. Wow, there's a really nice pike. Let's go get them. Now we're talking. There we go. Dude. Catching. They're, they're snapping today. All right, so I'm just setting up the tip up here. We're in the state of Minnesota, we get two lines. So I got one here, I got set up for a, a sucker under the flag, and I've got a slip knot here to kind of set the depth. Sinker, sucker, weeds. And then there's the bottom. So those weeds come up about three feet. I'm gonna set the sucker, maybe a foot, foot and a half right above those weeds there. And those pike come out of those weeds and ambush. So I just kind of want to run through how I set up a tip up here. So right now I've got this clam tip up spooled with 20 pound suffix tip up line and down to a, somewhere here it is, little slip sinker to a barrel swivel. And for the leader I'm using 20 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon. And I'll probably do a maybe a 15 to maybe two foot long leader here. And then I just got a single number two octopus hook. Jake, flag! Oh yeah, we got a flag. She's spinning. Oh yeah, there's like a just taken line. All right. Got him. There we go. Feels like a good one. Went through some weeds though, so I'll see if I can get him. It's fun with these tip-ups, you know, the hand, hand fighting these fish, you really get to feel the power. Oh, big bass, huge bass, Whew. huge bass, <laughs> oh, that's always a nice surprise. Nice bass, yeah. 
We'll take them, you know? Chasing pike, but don't mind running into a few of these. Ooh, wow, wow. It was a really nice pike. It was a really nice pike. Shoot. He never hit it though. There we go. Yeah, running these cameras is, is cool watching the baits. And one thing I like to do if I'm gonna have the camera out all day is hook it up to a portable battery source. So I got this uh, Dakota Lithium Power Box 10 and having this hooked up to this ensures that this is gonna run all day and I'm not gonna run out of juice, so. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> wow. All right, well, I'm trying to set a camera up on this and while I'm setting the camera up, there's a fish <laughs> and I got him and it doesn't feel too bad. Trying to set a little Aquaview camera up on it and it popped right next to me and it is a, <laughs> a giant bass. Look at this thing. Look at that. Jake, I thought you said there were pike in this lake. There's big bass too. Well, that was pretty cool. Really cool, that's a nice fish. Yeah, a lot of people think you can't catch largemouth in the winter, but they're actually pretty active fish. And um, yeah, that's a nice fish right there. Be free, big boy. There he goes. Like I said, I was trying to set a little camera up on here and I'm a huge fan of fish behavior and watching fish and seeing what they do. And I think by watching them, it makes you a better angler understanding how they approach your baits and look at your baits and maybe don't hit your baits. It helps you learn more. So what I'm doing today with Jake and I's tip ups is I've got these little Aquaview 22 HDs, which records HD footage now, and I'm putting them down, pointing them up at the minnow, and so they watch the minnow and to see what comes in on that. And you'd be amazed what, how many fish come in and look at your bait and don't hit it, or what a minnow does to draw fish in. So it's kind of cool. We're gonna run a couple of these cameras all day on our baits and see you know, how many fish actually strike it and how many go or don't strike it, and it'll help us understand them better. And then I've also got, a couple more, Miss Emily here is filming and she's got a license and I've got a couple of other tip ups I'm gonna set out with, a, um, Aquaview has another camera called a Strike View. It's actually a camera you can pull behind your um, boat in the summertime to track a lure, but you can also set it upside down on a tip up to watch the minnow from below. We're gonna have a bunch of cameras down today looking at our baits to see what's happening down there. It's kind of a kind of a neat little thing to, you know, watch fish, see what they do and um, it's, you know, just neat to see how they react to your bait or don't react to your bait, so. Oh, flag up, Mike. It was wheeling, it was wheeling. There's somebody there. Let's see if we got some weight. We got weight. He ain't moving though, I want him to move a little. There he goes. Got him. Not bad. Ooh. Not bad. Got a good one, Jake. Nice one? Yep. All right, I'm coming. I'm not going to lie, I was eating a few chips for lunch, so. <laughs> Bring that stick. All right. Yeah, this is a good fish here. Better fish. Never call them too big until you see them. They can kind of fool you. But I'm gonna say this is a decent one. Oh yeah, oh yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Another real nice one? Not as, not, it's the one we want. Okay, there we go. This is the one we want right here, this is. Oh yeah. Hi. Nice. Look at that, right in the corner, huh? Now we're talking. Okay. You are not kidding, your little lake has some decent pike in it, yeah. huh? That's a really quality fish right there. A fish like this, used to be common up here in Minnesota and there's a lakes like what we're on now that have them but a lot of lakes they're gone because they just got over harvested so it's good to see stuff like this coming back. I'm gonna guess around 28 inch. Oops it's bending. It's a little over 29. Okay. Nice. Perfect. So this is one I think we'll keep to do our little filleting piece with. That's a perfect size one. This is like when people think about keeping a pike this is like a a good yeah. eating size one, so we'll do that. Nice, nice. all righty. Dude. 
here in Minnesota, we've got a lot of pike lakes and our DNR many, uh, quite a few years ago put a special reg on different parts of the state to improve the pike population. So the part of the state we're in here is uh, the north central zone of Minnesota. And what we can do here is we can keep 10 pike under 22 inches. So the idea is to thin out the lake of all the little stunted pike. Then when they get to 22 to 26 inch, you have to let them go. So it's a catch and release only on 22 to 26. And the thinking on that is once they hit that 24, 25 inch range, they're targeting bigger size prey and then they're able to grow bigger quicker. So once they get over that hump of 26 inches, then you're producing some big pike. So the problem is people, when they want to eat pike, they get to be 23, 24, 25 inch. That's when they get big enough to where they want to keep them. So by making us throw them that size back, we're growing bigger pike. And it's been working in quite a few lakes. Jingle bells. Yeah. This has got a bigger minnow on it, I think, so. He's going too. Let's hope it's a horse. I think so. Nice one. Feels feels a lot better than the other stuff. So we like to hear. I think it's gonna be. Whoa. Oh yeah. Nice right, nicer. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. I think he's gonna be in the the Whew. slot. We gotta throw back a bit. I think so too. I'll get the tape for you. I'm give him a dip here. I guess he's gonna be about a. It's gonna be a 25 incher. I wasn't gonna bet, but still. This guy is on his way to being a good pike. Nice fat gut, little tiny head. It's a quality pike. I'm gonna predict 24 to 25. What do you think? 26 on the nose. 26 on the nose, huh? Belly, though. 20, 24 and a half. Oh, nice. So this, right yep, in right in the slot. So this, like I was talking about earlier, this is the guy that, or gal, that everybody wants to eat. Like, look at the size, there's a perfect eating pike. But once they hit this size, they get kept. So that's what that reg is in place to do, is get this gal back, let her grow a few more inches, and then she'll grow big. Hope it's moving a little bit. It's moving a little. Oh, there we go. We got a winner here. Boom. Ooh. 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 Yep, he's there. Doesn't feel too bad either. Jake, this could be our guy. Feels like a better than average bear here. He's must be wrapped up or something. He's not fighting too. How's it feeling? Well, it feels heavy, but it ain't doing much yet. But I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Oh yeah, he's that's, big. That's, oh, oh, that's, yeah. A, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a real nice. Oh, oh there we go. Look how fat that Nicely thing is. Nicely done. Still in the corner. It good. is. Oh, I got stuck right on the finger with one of its teeth. But no. Hey. Oh, that's okay. Did you really? Part of the deal. Yeah, that's a bleeder then, isn't it? All right, cool. Nice fish. Yeah. 20, 27, 28? Yeah, something like that. Really a fat one. This one is? 20, 29 20. and a half. Oh, another flag. Go get him. You go All get right. it. You go get it. Jake, go get it. We got another one. They're biting like crazy. She's still going. Okay. Oh yeah, another nice one. Feels like another nice one, Mike. Yeah, it's feeling good. It might be in the camera, so there's a little extra weight, but it's still, it's still feeling nice. All right, let's see here. Now he's, he's easing up a bit. 
Oh no. So much for jigging, huh? Yeah, right? Well, just... Gosh, every time we pick up a jig rod, flags go, so why, why fight it, right? Oh yeah, he's got nice head shakes. Oh, oh another yeah. another good one. Nice one, yeah. Jake, your lake has nice sized pike in it. Let's see, it looks like he's hooked right in the corner too, so should be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll try to do it without getting hooked. There oh, you go. Thank one. you, sir. Jeepers creepers, huh? Look at the bellies on those things. Yeah. Awesome. Don't cut yourself and I'll get the stick <laughs> Thank ready. You, sir. Nice fish. Yeah, another 20, almost 30, 29 cool. and a half. Nice. All right. Flag, Jake. Flag. Nice. Oh, she is flying too. Holy cow. It is flying. See, when it's running like that, you can just stop it. Go tight. You don't have to yank. Oh, yeah, nice head shake. Don't miss him, Jake. We got him. It was just peeling line. Just cool. Screaming. It feels like a real nice one. To the knot. Oh, oh, don't Ooh. The, don't get in the camera. Oh yeah. It's in the camera. <laughs> Getting close here. Oh yeah, real nice fish, Mike. Six, six, eight pound. Ooh. Ooh. Almost had my fingers caught. <laughs> Back to the knot. Back Let's to this. See. Back to the sinker. Oh yeah, real big fish. Oh heck yeah, Jake, nice yeah. fish. That's a beaut. There we go. Now just, let me get this cord out of here. Cool, all right. Thank you, sir. Wow. That's what we're talking about, That's huh? a really nice fish. For central Minnesota? Yeah. It's a beauty. That's what the- uh, We got that treble right in front there. Stuck it in the snout? Yeah. Oh boy, might need the bubble for this, huh? Should be able to get her. Yep. There we go. Got Let's it. give it a quick stick. I think it's going to go over the. Is it going to go over the stick? I would think so. It'd be close. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a. So thirty, probably thirty-one. Thirty-two, 32 inch. Yeah. yeah, that's a beauty. Real nice pike. Real fat. Awesome. Let's yep. take a Good stick job. quick and. Yeah. That's a beaut. That's the one you want to put back. That one's going to be a 40 inch before you know it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. real nice fish. Cool. All right, we'll let her go. There you go, girl. Nice. Good job. Thank you, sir. The beauty of a pike. They're, they're snapping today. Now, if you haven't used tip ups for pike, you got to give it a shot. It is an absolute rush chasing flags. Now we actually took a few pike home and did a great cleaning video which you can find on the Angling Buzz website. Thanks for watching and stay safe out on the ice.